We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane t -Marts, we'll look after you. NPL action at Lakeside Stadium. South Melbourne hosting the Melbourne Victory NPL side. A big occasion here. Both sets of fans are in good voice. And we are, of course, marking the Anzac Day commemorations with a minute silence. Wonderful stuff there from both sets of supporters and both sets of clubs as the players shake hands. Uh, it's the first time, of course, the South meets the Melbourne victory for competitive points and it's a very big game for South. We need to keep winning to maintain our lead at the top of the NPL Victoria ladder. You see there young Madeline Pachoni tossing the coin in front of both captains. Wonderful occasion for her. Let's see how we go today, David. Fair to say, John, fatigue might be a factor after three games for South this week. The early opportunity for Miller. Denied for the moment by the young Melbourne victory in defence. That ball played across field. Nicely done there by Matthew Faschini. Of course, a former teammate of a number of these young players. Gets that one going forward. And now it's Bradley Norton. Bradley Norton with the opportunity on the left. He's got space to put the ball in. Norton goes deep. Look in the back post. Oh, Milos Lujic. He went over Schroen to Lujic in the end. The header. It was well taken, but just off target. An early chance gone missing. First chance of the game and the force for South across to the back post from Brad Norton. It looks like he may have taken a deflection of one of the Melbourne Victory defenders there, David. Nevertheless, gone out. Bradley Norton, so dangerous in this position, saw a couple of weeks ago. Ball comes in, missed for the moment there, and Luke Adams had an opportunity with the open net. I don't think you could see it. I think he was blinded by Spinella there, John. Another chance gone begging. It's a bit of a difficult one here. Great ball for, again from Brad Norton to the back post. Uh, Luke Adams, the centre back, he scored like that against Port Melbourne. On this occasion, he couldn't. Epifano goes quick with Bradley Norton. Gets it back, Epifano. Chance goes on the left foot, squares it up. Opportunity for Miller! And Miller has hit the woodwork. A thundering shot. Wouldn't that have been a moment for the fans? Best opportunity of the game so far. Great cutback from Epifano to Miller, who's steaming in. He puts that on target. It beats Spinella. All ends up there, but smashes the crossbar and goes out. Miller following up, but eventually cleared by victory defence. Timmy Marler plants his feet and sends it straight back. Miller and Schroen, the combination back together tonight. And the ball there, clever by Theodore. Chance for Miller. Miller goes for the square up, misses Lujic, misses everything, and victory get away with one there. Maybe Matthew Miller should have shot that one. Counter attack, Raganovic has picked out Timmy Mahler, and Timmy Mahler gets on the run. Now on opportunity, Miller been so dangerous so far today. Miller cuts back, loses it initially. Victory, the clearance, that won't cut it because here comes Faschini, and Faschini's shot is deflected over the bar, and South Melbourne win themselves a corner. Epifano, what have they got up there south? Eager misses it, it's cleared for the moment. Won't go out, Faschini. Now Epifano again, take two. Ball played in, chance for Schroen! And Marcus Schroen's header, it looked goal bound for a moment there, just wide. Another fantastic opportunity for south, this time it's Marcus Schroen who gets on the end of the cross and he just can't direct his header on target, unfortunately for south. It's gone wide of Spinella's post. Faschini. Leaves that one for Timmy Mala. And Theodore not quite able to hold his ground on that one. There's an opportunity now. Derek's on the break here for victory. Derek tries to go around. Won't get the better of Eager. In fact, yes, he will. Still going, Derek. And eventually, Raganovic with the save. That reflexive right-hand save. And nearly a goal on the counter there for victory, John. Great persistence from Lucas Derek getting into the area. Looked like Michael Eager, the captain, had it covered. But uh, he wrestles control again. Derek goes for the shot at the near post. Nevertheless, Raganovic makes the save. Mahler goes for the good old long throw. Chance, Miller goes for the head on. Epifano, good persistence. Epifano wins the ball back. Epifano, right foot shot. He had the accuracy, but not the height. That one's gone over the bar. Another chance goes begging for South. Victory, they've uh, not had too much of it, but a good ball like that might catch the South Melbourne defence. Michael Eager not having any of it. 
And Bradley Norton goes for a long crossfield ball. And that's a mistake in the middle. It's gone straight over to Matthew Miller. He's through one on one. In comes Miller. He's got Leach. Miller goes for the shot. And it is gone across the face and wide. And John, I'd have just about put my house on that. I think he took one touch too many here, uh, Matthew Miller. It's initially Matt Hennessy with the back header that uh, catches victory, the defence off guard. Matt Miller there, like I said, I think he's taken one touch too many. And uh, as the goalkeeper Spinella advances, he rushes his shot in the end and it goes well wide. That's a real let off for victory. South really should have done a lot better than that and should have the lead. Mahler and Theodore. Mahler's cross, floating, drifting, Lujic. Gets it back up, Lujic wins it again, Lujic. Oh, was Lujic brought down there? Play on, says the referee, Milos Lujic not happy, and the ball floated across, Spinella tipping it out for a corner. And was this a penalty, John? Well, at first glance, I didn't think it was that, but we'll see from the rip play. Well, it looks like, uh, it looks like Ryan Lambert there clipping Milos Lujic after he's played the ball, but the referee obviously doesn't award the penalty. Fashini and Eager. And Egan, oh, uncharacteristically poor pass from Michael Eager. And they might catch South here. Fashini tracking back to try and cover the gap. Melbourne victory looking to steal the goal before half time. And that would have really hurt South Melbourne. And you can only imagine what Chris Taylor was saying. Be very happy with the endeavour, but perhaps not with the finishing. Can they improve that? Here's a chance. Milos Lujic. Lujic lines up Miller. He'll get it back here. Lujic! I don't believe it, John. I think that's hit the corner of the upright and the crossbar. Marla's cross back in, dealt with by Spinella. And South Melbourne, there's a force fielding goal. Well, it just doesn't seem like it's uh, going to happen for South tonight. A nice, nice uh, setup there from Miller to Lewich, who curls that past Spinella, but it hits the crossbar and the post, like you said, David, the corner there, and it stays out. Marla's throw, floating again, headed across the face, not dealt with. Matthew Theodore. Matthew Theodore, that's his favourite position to shoot. He had time and space, but he got it wrong. And what's happening now for victory? They've got a couple of players moving forward. An opportunity, maybe. Patient. This is some of their best build-up work. The cross goes in, Raganovic. I'm not sure if it's a cross or a shot, but he dealt with it quite comfortably in the end. Now Miller. Gets round, plays it back inside, Lujic holds it up, Lujic flicks it wide, Epifano, Epifano's left foot shot goes flying over the bar, disappointing finish from him and he's furious with himself on that one. Now a corner for Melvin Victory, played in low, clean bowls everyone for the moment, it's done a bit of ping pong and it's gone back in and I think that's Tim Marla who got in front of Raganovic there and headed that one over the bar. And a long free kick coming here from Fashini, floats it in. Schroen's had a chance for Milos Lujic, 1-0 South Melbourne. No mistake this time from big Milos Lujic. When you need him, John, he's always there because he scores when he wants. South Melbourne 1, Melbourne victory 0. Second half action here at Lakeside Stadium and a big moment in this game. Huge moment, David, and it has been coming. The South have had a lot of chances, hit the crossbar twice already this game, and it's finally uh, come uh, the goal. Nice uh, header there to the back post. Milos Lujic, he's lurking there. And if there's someone that you want to guide a header across the keeper into the back of the net, it's Milos Lujic. It's a great push and header past Spinella, who can't do much about it, and into the back of the net. I think it's Hennessy on the line there that's scrambling to try and clear it. He can't do anything about it. It's a well-placed header. It's going to the back of the net. South have the lead. First change from Chris Taylor. Matthew Theodore makes his way to the bench. On comes Limanopoulos to run out the last half hour of this game. Schroen tries to intervene, but won't be able to win it back this time in victory. Oh, can they really break the heart of South Melbourne by striking back after South worked so hard to get in front? Low ball in, opportunity. They've got some numbers here. Eager with the initial block. It's still sitting up, it's still there, and Eager with a second block to tip that one across the face. Great work by the South Melbourne skipper, some good desperate defending. Negro gets that going quickly. And a dangerous ball back. It's been taken straight by Epifano. Epifano through one on one, squares it up to Lujic, and a fantastic lunging slide tackle to deny Milos Lujic a second and to keep Melbourne victory in this match. Marcus Schroen comes to the bench, a good effort today, unlucky not to have scored. On comes the tough and firm Steve Hatsikostas. Adams uses Matt Miller, who looks like he's switched out onto the left for the remainder of this game. Comes inside Miller, now Epifano, might shoot, 
uses Lee Monopolis. Great chance, Monopolis, and saved nicely by Spinella. But in truth, John, Monopolis had enough time. He probably should have done better with that. Yeah, again, it's another opportunity wasted from South. Uh, nice ball initially from Ipifano had set up Lee Monopolis, who shoots straight at the goalkeeper, Spinella. And again, South can't extend their lead. The one floats high. Hatsi Costas does well. There's numbers. Victory players at the edge of the box. An opportunity, maybe. No, says Hatsi Costas. He intervenes, puts the clearance up. And tense moments in the later part of this game. South holding a 1-0 lead. Now Monopolis does well, keeps his feet, and might launch a counter-attack Lee Monopolis. And, oh, that is a bad tackle. The South Melbourne bench is up. The players are in. Well, there's enough tension in this game already. The referee has to step in here. I think you'll see the cards produced, and he'll do well to prevent it really kicking off here, John. Yeah, it's a bad tackle from Howard. Uh, worthy of the yellow card. Matt Fischini's not happy about it. Tim Muller as well I saw getting, getting stuck in, and I think you'll find that, uh, yep, uh, George Howard for that tackle on uh, on Lee Monopolis being issued with the yellow card. Throw taking quickly. They're starting to get some real numbers forward, Melbourne victory, and Norton's clearance is charged down. Mahler gets the header away, Hatsi Costas. Straight to a nest of Melbourne victory players, Pasquale. Now a chance for Negro. Negro with the shot, saved by Raganovic, not dealt with completely, and it's been turned in by Seb Pasquale, but it will not stand. The offside flag was up straight away that time. Yeah, it's a good passage of play from victory uh, as the game uh, peters to a close, but uh, Negro's shot there, you see that Pasquale is offside just, and uh, unfortunately for him, he tucks the ball in the back of the net, but it doesn't count, and South still maintain their 1-0 lead here. Up high, Luic heads on. South would love to find a goal to finish this off. There is still a lot of tension around the ground. And they've got an opportunity here. Victory bring numbers forward again. Slow, patient build up. Norton lunges, can't keep his man out. Adams deals with it for the moment and the shot goes over the bar. And that might just be the last opportunity for Victory to strike back. Epifano, after a really good game here at Lakeside today, makes his way to the bench. And to shore things up for the last couple of minutes, on comes Kachoyevic. Monopolis. That's clever in tight space. Goes back to Hatsi Costas. Not a bad effort. He wanted Kachoyevich, nearly reached him. Oh, nice work for Sheeny to Kachoyevich. Kachoyevich goes out to the left. Bradley Norton running, plays it in. Great chance, Milos Lujic. And he just can't find that second goal. So many chances to close this out, John. Oh, Milos Lujic and Andy Kachoyevich frustrated there. You'd think that uh, on any other day, Milos Lujic would put this in the back of the net. Maybe it's the fatigue of the last three games in a week but he puts that one wide. Well, maybe, just maybe, they can find something. South players streaming Dak to protect it. A ball played in. Norton's covering, and it will trickle over the line. And we are deep, deep into stoppage time here. In fact, the referee has said that is deep enough. It is game over here. South Melbourne edge out Melbourne victory 1-0. They were dominant for the first half, particularly, John. They definitely deserved the win. But, geez, it was made hard for them. And, wow, was it a tense atmosphere in the last few minutes of the game. It certainly was only having a 1-0 lead. David, like you said, I think South deserved to win the match. Uh, they created a lot of chances. And, uh, unfortunately for them, the woodwork and some... Uh, some some very good defending, preventing South from extending their lead. Like we touched on earlier, perhaps it was the fatigue of having so many games, so many important games as well in the last week, which finally caught up with them. But the main thing is they did get that goal. They kept the clean sheet. Nikola Raganovic instrumental in keeping the clean sheet. Of course, the goalkeeper there celebrating with the fans. And the most important thing is we got the victory, the three points, and we maintain our lead at the top of the MPL Victoria table. The fans were great today, John. So were the players. And this is a really happy club sitting at the top of the table. This week's Melbourne City Toyota Play of the Match Award goes to a man who toiled hard all day and was crucial in our win. Well done, Matthew Faschini. Well, I've got Matthew Faschini here with me, and uh, fair to say, mate, that was a pretty tight, tense game in the end. We had a lot of chances. In the end, it was just the one goal separating them, though. Yeah, we probably made it a bit hard for ourselves. We had four or five really, really good opportunities, but, you know, you only need one to win the game, and, you know, hopefully we save those goals we missed for later on in the year when, when we need them. But, you know, thought we dug in well, and there's three massive points, three wins this week, and undefeated for a bit now. So, you know, onwards and upwards to next Friday and, and get another win. Well, in the first half, we dominated and couldn't manage to break through, so it was tight. I mean, it was really a situation where victory could have stolen it, but in the end, they didn't. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they had a couple of really good chances. One went over the bar, one they scored offside. So, you know, you create your own luck a little bit. I thought we were by far the better team, so it would have been unjust for them to get a point from us. So, you know, at the end of the day, we, we move on, we get the win. We, I thought we played well in the first half. We, we kind of let them back into it a little bit in the second, even though we had those chances. But, you know, three points, what else do you want? 
great atmosphere, particularly towards the end when the game was tight. Fair to say the uh, crowd was standing their ground and wasn't going anywhere. It's good, you know, passion from, from our fans. I thought they were great. They're always loud and proud and they always stand by us and, you know, we stand by them and we thank them again for, for coming out and, and putting on, you know, great atmosphere and, and being loud and proud, like I said. Fair to say you don't mind going pretty hard too. You, you like, fairly, I should say, but you don't mind going hard and winning a few good, tough challenges. Yeah, I mean, that's the way I was brought up and that's the way I, I learned to play the game hard and fair and, you know, I get stuck in when I need to, back my teammates up when I need to. And, you know, we're one family here in this dressing room and, and the whole club and we like to stick together and, you know, get a few wins on the board. Spoken like a true footy player, mate. <laughs> I can see it's in the blood. Matthew Vashini, thanks very much for talking to us. Congratulations on what turned out to be a very good win. No worries. Thanks, guys. Yeah, uh, look, first half, I thought we played uh, thought we played pretty well and created quite a few chances and just didn't seem to fall our way in the attacking third uh, in front of goal. But, uh, look, we held on in the end, probably a bit, uh, a bit closer than what we would have hoped for. Now, we've got a short turnaround time. We've had a couple of nice long breaks, although we have had a busy week this week. But uh, a short turnaround time for the Friday night game. You think the boys will be able to turn around OK? Yeah, absolutely. We've had a pretty heavy week, um, you know, three games in seven days this week and come away with three great results. Everyone in the squad's, um, you know, had some kind of involvement and played really well. So, look, I think everyone will be feeling pretty fresh. And, of course, when you're winning, uh, you're sitting top of the league and things are going well for you, you know, you can play a game every day and you'll be feeling right. Fair to say the fans really kicked you over the line in the end. They were pretty excited about that. Yeah, fans, uh, fans would love that. Uh, it's a game and atmosphere that, you know, it was great to play in as well. Um, you know, South supporters were terrific. Um, created a lot of noise for us. And, uh, as always at home, uh, always the 12th man and get us over the line in those, those close, tough games.